All right, we're back at it again. So let's talk about while loops. A while loop will repeat a section of code, possibly unlimited times. We will continue some section of code while some condition remains true. And it's possible that a while loop might not execute at all, depending on what our condition is. So here's an example. Let's create a program that will ask a user for their name. If they attempt to skip that prompt, then we will keep on asking them for their name indefinitely. So here's how we can write a program like that using a while loop. We'll need to begin with a character array, let's say name, and this will be 25 bytes. And we will create a prompt using printf. What's your name? We can use scanf for user input, but with names that may contain spaces, I'm going to use fgets instead. Refer to the video on user input to learn more about fgets. So I would like to assign my variable name, set the size of the user input 25 to match what we have, then type stdn for standard input. Then we just need to get rid of the new line character at the end of our user input. So we can write something like this. Set our character array of name, and within the straight brackets, we will use the string length function. Pass in name, minus one and we will set this equal to a null character. And then at the end, we will display the user's name. Print F, let's say hello, and then use a format specifier for strings, which is S. And we will display a user's name. Okay, this is what this looks like currently. What's your name? I'll type my name, hit enter, and it says, hello, bro. Now, what if I don't type in anything? Like I just hit enter. What's your name? I'm going to hit enter, hello, and then there is no name here. How can I force a user to type in something? Well, I could use a while loop and that will prompt a user to enter their name indefinitely. So here's how to create a while loop. Type while, parentheses, curly braces, and we need a condition. What are we going to check? We will continue this while loop while some condition remains true. Our condition to check to see if we have an empty string we could use the string length function, pass in name, and check to see if this is equal to zero. If it is zero, that means that somebody just hit enter without typing in anything. So let's print a message to yell at them. You did not enter your name. And then let's copy this section of code and paste it to reprompt the user to type in their name. And that's all there is to it. So while this condition remains true, we will execute this code forever. So let's try it again. Okay, what's your name? I'm going to hit enter. You did not enter your name. What's your name? No, 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 no. Okay, I give up. Hello, whatever your name is. So yeah, that's basically a while loop. It repeats a section of code, possibly unlimited times. There's a lot of overlap where you could use either a for loop or a while loop and we execute some body of code while some condition remains true. However, a while loop might not execute at all if this condition is false to begin with. So if the user actually does type in something, well, this condition is false and we do not execute this body of code. So yeah, that's a while loop. It repeats a section of code, possibly unlimited times. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are while loops in C.